Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Knockreiner. Today's story is about the Locky ransomware. Over the past few weeks, a new piece of ransomware that the industry is called Locky because it renames your files with a .locky file extension has started to surge around the world. Now, to make today's video short, it's mostly to actually point out a written blog post that one of WatchGuard's sales engineers has put on blog.watchguard.com. In that post, he goes into some detail about how Locky works. And by the way, at a high level, Locky is a very similar to other crypto ransomware. If you get infected, it actually encrypts all your files using strong AES encryption, and then it tries to get you to pay around 400 US dollars worth of Bitcoin to get those files back. One particular note, besides looking for other connected drives on your computers, including map shares, this particular ransomware variant also searches your network for unmapped network shares to infect those computers as well. So it's pretty dangerous. It spreads in a number of ways, but one of the most common ways is an email that contains an office document. And of course, if you interact with that office document, you're going to get infected by this ransomware. Anyways, if you're interested in more detail, be sure to check out our blog post on blog.watchguard.com. In that post, Jonas doesn't only detail the Locky ransomware, but he talks about all the different ways WatchGuard's XTM appliance can actually block this particular ransomware. Things like APT blocker, gateway antivirus, and even our web blocker are able to actually prevent you from getting infected by this particular ransomware. So I highly recommend you check it out. Besides all the defenses that our WatchGuard appliances provide, the only other tip I might give you is be sure to always back up your data. Hopefully you have something like WatchGuard's network security controls protecting your organization. But even in the worst case, if you get infected with ransomware, if you have a backup, you can actually recover. You don't have to pay the extortion. Anyways, it's a great article. I'll put a link to it in the, the blog post associated with this video, be sure to go check it out. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.